Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Michael Mastro with Transformational Vedic Astrology. Today we're going to look at someone who's in the news, Kim Young Un, who just had surgery a few days ago and really not sure about the outcome as he has not been seen in, normally seen in um, uh, birthday for his father, our grandfather, a celebration, always there, but not this time. So we're going to look and uh, try to figure out his chart. Now, there's many, many birth dates and no time of birth. So we had to do a rectification, but this chart seems to work pretty well. Born in uh, North Korea. So here, it, uh, uh, if you look to the eastern horizon when he was born, you have Leo rising at 18 degrees, almost 19 degrees. That becomes the most effective point of every house. Any planet like Saturn, like K2 Rahu, like Sun, like Moon, they're within five degrees. Actually, Sun is not. Uh, they have a lot of impact in the chart. So we want to look and see how the planets are operating and when they're operating and what we could do to rectify the chart. So... Um, we want to look at to see where the first uh, the multicona signs take precedence. For example, um, we have uh, Virgo and Le uh, Gemini are ruled by Mercury, but but Virgo is the multicona sign. It is the sign that Mercury is most closely uh, uh, linked with. Um, so. You know, so many planets rule two uh, two signs, but we'll we're going to look at where the multicona signs are. Is what we what houses you find them in is what we came here to work on. So we have Virgo ruled by Mercury in the third house. So this is about wealth and um, reputation. Oh, he's really concerned about what people think of him, and the continuation of the marital bond. Then we have Libra in the third house ruled by Venus. Um, business, communication, uh, performing arts. Uh, he's really into music. Um, and then if we look at the, um, the next Multicono sign, we see Sagittarius ruled by Jupiter. Jupiter's in its own house here. Um, again, uh, this has to do with um, entertainment. He's really into entertainment and uh, basketball and music um, and then um, children and education investments all of that and then you have the seventh house Aquarius ruled by Saturn 11th sign ruled by Saturn so this is about relationships partnerships comforts living abroad um, then you have the ninth house, Aries, number first house, first sign, uh, ruled by Mars. That's this is religion, beliefs, um, higher education, and then we have good fortune. So then um, we have now wherever we see a multicona sign in the Dustana or the challenging houses, sixth, eighth, or the twelfth. That becomes a functional malefic for that chart. Normally, m many Vedic uh, astrologers see Sun, Mars, and Saturn always being malefic. I did for many years, and I kept seeing clients come, and they were in a Saturn period or Sadi Sad, and they were doing really well. They just got a house and a new job and married. So it's not always the case uh, that it's bad for everyone. So um, I go by... Whenever you have um, multicona sign in 6, 8 through 12, like you have Cancer here ruled by uh, Moon, that becomes malefic for the Leo chart. And then you have, so, so the, this is all about um, losses, expenses, spiritual growth through letting go of attachments, separations, feeling separate. Um, and then here, the first house, life purpose, what you came here to do, Leo ruled by sun, life purpose through politics, leadership. So 
Let's go through the planets themselves, see whether they're weak or strong. So Sun is just uh, close to the most effective point, has a lot of emphasis in his life, gives him, again, life purpose through leadership. Sun is leadership, politics, um, which he inherited from his father, got great support from his family. They basically inherited his kingdom um, to be the supreme leader. And it can make you also very controlling, narcissist, dictator. Everything's all about him. He has to be the center of everything. Um, for a Leo, you bow down to the king. If you don't bow down to the king, it's off with your head. And basically, you, many members of his family have learned that the hard way. So then... Um, Moon is at 22 degrees. Again, it's that function malefic and it's close to the most effective point. So it is afflicting the 12th house, the 12th house that it's in, and then seven houses away, which would be the sixth house. So health and uh, could be affected. And then also um, hospitalization could be a possibility, feeling separate. Um, things like that, and feeling like there's enemies. Um, okay, so then, um, so Moon represents mother, son is father, so he he uh, got this, you know, feeling of wanting to be involved in music from his mother. She was a dancer from Japan, but um, she had breast cancer, and I think passed away early on, and uh yeah, so so that made him feeling a little bit insecure and the need for adoration and love and feeling separate, the world against him. And uh, also addictive behavior, uh, chain smoking to calm him down and uh, drinking a lot of alcohol to lose control. He's a very controlling person. Um, again, insecurity, very secretive, antisocial, feeling separate. Um, and Moon is in this house of partnerships and relationships, so that makes you feeling of not peace of mind, lack of trust of other relationships. Everybody's out to get me, uh, being a victim. So then uh, Mars is at five degrees, fairly strong in his chart and uh, makes him uh, want to get things done, take charge, be militaristic, dictatorial, um, impulsive though. He makes decisions, you know, without thinking things through. It's tit for tat, you know. I'm going to launch my rocket if you do this or that. If you don't pull your troops out of South Korea for the war games, um, I'm going to launch some missiles. It's kind of like that. And that scares a lot of people. And, uh, and he believes in a very militaristic type govern governing um, agenda called the Rocket Man. Mars represents brother in this chart. And he killed his brother because his brother was not supportive. Didn't trust his brother. Really into basketball, competitive sports. Uh, loves Dennis Rodman. <laughs> Mercury, uh, and, and I think the, the Chicago Bulls, really big fan. Mercury is at seven degrees. It rules this house of wealth and recognition. So wealth and recognition through communications. Um, it's, it's conjunct uh, Jupiter. So publishing. He published a lot of um, manifestos, I guess, or things about politics. Um, not sure if he actually wrote them, but maybe. And then this is the house of entertainment, and this is the house of singing. So he's really into music and singing like that. And let's see here. Not so much into math and science. Um, but he did get a degree in physics, I guess, and military in his own uh, place. Now, he was he did get a higher education with his brothers and sisters in Switzerland. 
where he went under a fictitious name. Um, Jupiter, again, conjunct to Mercury, which is good. And um, Mercury um, is just slightly weak. Any planet that's less than five degrees uh, doesn't have the power to... Uh, it's, it's said to be in adolescence and can't promote or predict, uh, protect its own significations. And any planet that's more than 25, which there are none, would be in old age. So anyway, Jupiter, you know, publishing uh, gives, um, you know, uh, education to, of the masses through uh, publications. Children, he has a daughter, I think, and many, some other kids possibly. Um, this is the house of pets. He really, they're, the whole family's into horses, kind of a symbol of power, I think. And... Uh, it's also connected because it's a little bit weak. It, the liver becomes weak, so it can affect your. He has diabetes and uh, weight issues. So Jupiter makes things big, including your body, if it's weak. Uh, Venus is at 15 degrees. It's fairly strong in his chart. It gives him that love of music. Um, and communication through performing arts. It's in this house of um, ex ex exhibitions and creativity. Also represents wife in his chart and pancreas, which can affect the diabetes. Saturn rules Aquarius in this partnership house. It's close to the most effective point and debilitated, so it is weak. It debilitated in the Navamsa chart. So it gives some mistrust of others in relationships, wanting to control others, feeling insecure, but gives him a lot of determination. Um, and it does affect knees and ankles. He has issues with those. Rahu and K2. So this placement, uh, Rahu in the a, a 10th, Ketu in the family house, happiness house, so makes makes him feel separate from the family. Um, he's always trying to live up to his father and his grandfather, living in their shadow. That's also about this moon placement here. Um, and Rahu gives strong ambition and desire for power and career, politics. Um, but these are close to the most effective point. So they also can afflict five, seven, and nine houses away, six out of the 12 houses. So career, one, two, three, four, five. Well, a recognition. He's always worried about what people think. Six, seven, family. Father died. Um, uh, eight, nine. He had actually was kind of a womanizer, had a lot of relationships, said to have executed some of his ex-girlfriends. Seven, eight, nine uh, enemies and health issues. Then one, two, three, four, five, secretive um, about everything. Uh, six, seven, career, eight, nine. Uh, yeah, again, this feeling of separation. You know, it's the world against him. Doesn't trust anyone. And let's see here. So that's, yeah, so that's pretty much how Rahu and K2 are operating in this chart. Let's look at the timing of events. So in 2009, he got married and that was during a Saturn period. Saturn is relationships, marriage. And then also the tail end of that um, period, I think it went, it was Saturn Mars. So accident in a racing, he loved, loved to race cars. Um, so Saturn is accidents and Saturn is uh, knees and ankles. They were injured in the accident. Then in 2011, he became supreme leader during a Saturn Rahu period. Again, power, ambition. Um, it's been said he wasn't quite prepared for the job. He's pretty one of the youngest leaders in the world. 
Um, uh, let's see. Transiting Sun uh, was in the 11th house. So 11th house is gain. So gain of position and power. Uh, 2017, his brother was killed probably by him for not su being supportive. And uh, Mars, representing brother, was transiting the 8th house of death-like experiences. And then uh, met with Trump in 2018. Uh, that was also during um, a Rahu, I think, period. So, yeah, again, about the p being recognized, or maybe it was Mercury. Mercury, um, yeah, which would be the recognition, world recognition on the stage with Trump. Then we have, just a few days ago, um, I'm making this probably on the 22nd of April, uh, he had surgery on uh, 4 12 20. Um, let's just look and see at the transit chart what was happening. That was a Mercury period, I think. So let's look at the transit chart. I think it's like this. No, it was actually the 14th. So you see. Uh, malefic transiting moon is uh, afflicting sun. Sun is uh, heart. It was a cardi cardiovascular surgery. And then you have Mars at the most effective point um, transiting the house of health issues. So those are the major things there. And let's see. I think that's it. So um, let's see, what could we do to strengthen? Now, this is the outer circle is the transiting planets, and then the inner circle is the birth chart. So it's nice to see how things overlay. Um, okay, so let's look at, back to the birth chart. What can we do to strengthen his weaker planets? Well, he could... Um, Saturn, you could wear a blue sapphire. Venus, you could wear a dime, one carat diamond on the ring finger. Jupiter, he could wear yellow sapphire. Uh, moon, we, moon, we don't want to strengthen with a pearl because that we don't want to strengthen malefics. No K2, no uh, uh, hematite for Rahu or K2. Um, Sun, a ruby. Uh, yeah, so the Ma Mars, a, a, a red coral. Or you could wear a locket containing the Devata Yantras for those planets. And you wouldn't really have to worry about the expense or the quality of the stones. It's really good to strengthen all the planets at once, not just one or two picking and choosing because they're all interconnected. So Kavash is a great way to do that. And you can get it on our website at uh, vasucreations.com. Then we want to transform the malefics. So K2, Rahu, and Moon. So Moon, you help women, elderly women, on Mondays. Do Shiva chants on Mondays. K2, you help spiritual organizations do Ganesh chants. Rahu, you do Shiva chants and help people who cannot help themselves. Donate to cancer, Alzheimer's research. So those are the ways that Trump, uh, the uh, chart could be corrected. Um, if you are interested in getting a reading, you can go to www.vastucreations.com. Under services, you'll find different kinds of astrology readings. A yearly reading is, tells you a lot. Um, and if you want to learn Transformation Vedic Astrology, as you can see, it's quite accurate. You can go to AmericanInstituteOfOsteo.com and we have a level one and a level two. If you want to get certified, you take the uh, level one and level two. And you can be a practicing astrologer. So thank you for listening. Namaste.